And J.C. Jane has really made a career out of systematically dissecting their opponents, figuring out their weaknesses, finding out their darkest secrets, and using them to her advantage. Jane doesn't care about boundaries, doesn't care about feelings. She just cares about winning. And then there's the ultra-focused Zia Lee. Not one for many words. The first Chinese woman to ever compete here in WWE is ready to battle like she has something to prove. Oh, I think Xia Li has plenty she wants to prove. She wants to prove that she has some of the hardest hits. Some of them, you know what, guys? I was afraid it was going to get to this point. Top rope! Able to push off and avoid that attack. Boom! Xia gets her back. Focus got a bit shaken there. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Something's about to go either very rough from the top through the air and connects. Shown absolutely no apprehension of putting one's body on the line. And Zia Lee is really falling behind. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. Corey, J.C. Jane has amassed quite a bit of success in a relatively short time in this business. Do you think that could play a factor in this one? Oh, absolutely, Cole. Jane's a talented young competitor, but when the emphasis is on young, that means this could come down to veteran experience. And when experience, or even just that mentality, is at play, Jane could find herself overwhelmed at a moment's notice. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. What are we going to see from JC? From the top! Oh, elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Chicken wing! And a face buster! JC Jane asserting her dominance and physical presence there. Absolutely. And JC Jane gets all of the discus big boot. Is that what it takes to beat Zia Lee? It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, JC Jane. JC Jane really celebrating her win here. JC Jane's influence only grows stronger, spreads wider with every win. We should all be appreciative of that.